Storm Tracker weather starts now with Chief Forecaster Bob McGuire. Oh, guess what? It is almost Friday. I mean, it's just right around the corner. We're going to start off tonight, though, with a picture from Lynn Richardson. You're looking at tonight's sunset over Powell. It really turned out to be kind of a pretty one because we had a little smoke in the background from Montana. But this is the way she looked today and uh, really didn't look too bad. Let's show you another one. I like this one from a few days ago. This is a sunset from Hardin. Uh, Cecilia Rios got this one. I like this because it shows some of the beautiful colors of the clouds as it was reflected up from the, 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 the sun back down behind the horizon. Good looking shot there, Cecilia. Thank you. Meanwhile, here's the way things are shaping up in Billings right now. Hey, it's not too bad. We we are at 68 degrees. We're starting to cool down a little bit. Humidity is at 33%. And as you see, our winds out in the northeast at about 5 miles per hour. Now, our high temp today actually topped out at 89 degrees. Your average high is 80, the record 97. Back in 1950, the year average record low was 1951. Uh, that's when we had it, was, uh, the actual number was 39 degrees back in 1951. And when it comes to sunset, that tonight happened at 747. And uh, no new precipitation yet today in September or so far this month. But here's where we are for the year 974. To be at 1015 to be caught up to average, and so far nothing in September. But as you'll see, the smoke plumes. Well, we still had a lot of fires around here, right? Yesterday, still had a little smoke there, and also here, and all that stuff continues to get caught up in northwesterly flow of air, pushed in towards the central plains. A little bit of smoke moving into the southwest corner of the state from Washington and Oregon tonight. But as we see here, here's what's happening tonight. As far as the air quality, it's still pretty bad over by Bernie and by Broadus. Here in Billings, we are looking at just uh, moderate air quality, but up there, that red that indicates this is really unhealthy for. for for some folks and in borderline on hazardous. So it's getting pretty bad in the southeast corner of the state. Our current temps into the 60s, low 70s over at Helena. See some 50s across the high line. Of course, the cold air has come in and dropped out and continues to push its way a little farther south tonight. But uh, here in the Billings area, we're at 68 degrees, 66 a mile city. Uh, uh, Glendive at 56, so a little cool in that area. But check out our reported highs for the day. 80s and 90s out in the western part of the state. Over here in the northeast, it was into the 70s of Glasgow, Williston, North Dakota, 73, 76 over in Glendive. You see a uh, mile city at 78 tonight, 89 in Billings. It was 85 for the high in Sheridan. But now tomorrow, we're still looking at uh, basically not far tomorrow. This is for Saturday. It's a uh, fire weather watch. It starts Saturday afternoon and goes till Saturday midnight across all of southern Montana. Once again, high winds, low humidity, and very hot temperatures will all come together and create some rather erratic fire behavior. And we wouldn't be surprised with the higher winds that we'll probably see some more fire starts across the area in the southern part of the state. Hope that doesn't happen, but it looks like it's going to be. In the meantime, we still have a northwesterly flow of air, no scattered showers anywhere. For a while there, we were seeing some of the plumes from the smoke up there in Muscle Shell County in the Bull Mountains. But so far, we're looking at a ridge of high pressure building into our region. A little smoke over there as well. And you'll see this continues to uh, bring some warmer temperatures up our way. We basically have a stationary front right here. This side of the front, it's warm. This side of the front, it is cooler. But then by the time Friday night on into Saturday gets here, that's a new warm front moving in. We'll actually warm up into the upper 90s and 100s in the Billings area by Saturday evening. Then after that, we start to cool back down. But tonight we cool down to about the 40s and 50s across the region with generally partly cloudy skies. Then for tomorrow, back up into the 80s, some low 90s. It'll be 89 at Billings, 92 over in Livingston, 91 over at Columbus. But for Billings tonight, we're going down to 53 with clear skies. Next seven days, it'll be like this. It will be into the 80s, upper 80s on Friday, 100 on Saturday. The record's 95, so we're forecasting a new record. It'll be 89 on Sunday, 61 on Monday with a good chance of rain that night as we cool down to 36. Rain mixing with snow. Snow, and then back up into the 50s, 60s, and some 70s as we head into Thursday of next week. That's weather. Let's go back to Casey.